Hey everybody, Coldon here with another Vox Immortalis commentary guide. Uh, this video is for Beth Talak in the new Firelands raid zone. And of course this is 10 men. Uh, so this fight really requires that you split up your raid into two groups. Uh, essentially, you'll have a group that remains on the ground floor throughout the fight, and then another smaller group usually that will go up top to deal with Beth Talak. Uh, so to begin, you'll see there are some spinners that spawn and they hang down from the ceiling and they can be taunted by anyone with a taunt, basically, which will force them down to the ground so they can be meleeed. But once a spinner dies, it drops a strand on the ground, or actually once it's taunted away, it'll drop a strand. And that strand can be clicked on like a vehicle and it will transport you up top, which you saw I did at the beginning. Um, so we have our raid split with our paladin tank, myself as a healer, uh, enhancement shaman, and arcane mage are our topside group. And this is just so that we balance as much burst DPS up top as possible because we're only allowed to be up here for a short amount of time. Uh, if you look at Beth Talak's energy, she's at 500, 400, and about to run out. When she drains her energy, she'll cast Smoldering Devastation, which you see there. And when that finishes casting, anyone that remains up top on the web will die. It's a huge amount of damage. So what you need to do is jump down um, into one of the fiery areas on the web or just the center hole up there. And then you'll float down to the bottom and avoid the big AE. So you can see here the spinners have started to respawn. And that same process repeats for the group that's going up top but I'll go ahead and talk about the rest of the stuff that's happening down below. Uh, so there is a drone ad that spawns by itself, and this should be picked up by your other tank. Um, it does moderate melee damage, and more importantly, it stacks uh, a buff if any of the spider lane ads that spawn are allowed to get in melee range of it. And it basically increases the damage it deals it heals itself and it also moves faster. So ideally the drone tank should keep the drone away from the spider lanes that spawn while the rest of the DPS down below are killing the spider lanes. And you can snare them and stun them and all that. Uh, so generally what we were doing is we'd have our Death Knight, um, Balanced Druid, and Orlock down below as the main DPS. And they're fo focusing on the spinners first uh, because they do a spit attack on random raid members. That's annoying. And then once the spinners are dead, uh, they focus on any spider leans that are up. And once the spider leans are taken care of, focus on the drone with any extra DPS. And you can see they're doing the spider leans there. And so that's really the entire process um, for both groups. Uh, and this process repeats three times in total before the next phase. So you can see here we're killing spinners again. And then I'm going over to the strand here. Uh, I should mention one tip is to make sure that your tank that is going up top is the first one to click on the strand by a second or two. It's good enough. Uh, because if someone else gets up there before them, then Bethlehem will probably destroy them with a melee hit. Uh, also up top there are these meteors that will cast on random people up here and they have a pretty slow animation but if you are still there when they land you'll fall through uh, the web so obviously that's not good and otherwise she'll do a pulsing AE you can see hitting everyone up here it's like 20 something th damage uh, 20,000 damage so it's not that much and then she just has normal melee attacks on the tank so after the third uh, phase and third Smoldering Devastation AE, she will go into her final phase regardless of what her health is at. So when this occurs, what she's about to do here, um, the team below needs to make sure everything down here is dead. If there are any ads that remain up, she will try to consume them if she gets close, and that will heal her, heal her for 10% of her health. Uh, I think she actually did consume one thing there. But anyway, so that's not good. 
you want to try to balance, like I said, your DPS up top so you have as much damage above the web on Beth Talak as possible while also allowing uh, people below to deal with all the ads that happen. So once this phase begins, uh, we have the raid stack up behind her and our tank grabs her. And she'll continue doing her fire AE, but she also gains a uh, stacking frenzy buff throughout this phase, which increases her damage per stack so that the fire AE and of course her melee attacks eventually get out of control. So this is really a burn phase, but as you can see, even when she's at 70% health, it's not that difficult to survive it um, with strong healing. And the tanks during this phase will gain uh, a debuff called Widow's Kiss every once in a while, which reduces the healing that they take, um, and it lasts for 20 seconds, and then it will expire on its own. So theoretically, you can use one tank on this part if you want, but since you have to use two tanks for most of it anyway, I don't see why you would really do that. Uh, and then the tanks also, while they have Widow's Kiss, will do an AE around them for extra fire damage but it's a short range, it's like 10 yards. So we form a triangle basically with our tanks at two ends at the top and then the raid at the bottom end of the triangle. And this avoids that extra AE damage. So yeah, we're just uh, healing through the AE and you can see even, you know, 70% of that, she's still not really doing much damage to everyone. So that's Beth Talak. Good luck and thanks for watching. Rest your head now, little girl mm. You're on your way now Open your mind up to the sky yeah. And fly away now Oh, You got nothing to prove You got no one to hurt you You got no one to pull you down Push you around Make you frown and cry You are alone now Hey Oh, waking up every day with the beam of the moonlight in my eyes Limited my consciousness with the focus of my mind I've got to take myself back to the fitting of a totally breaking free Knowing that my body is motionless and still asleep I am waking up every day with the beam of the moonlight in my eyes Limited my consciousness with the focus of my mind I've got to take myself back to the fitting of a totally breaking free mm, So fly with me Take me to the Take
Listen, still asleep. I am waking up every day with the beam of the moonlight in my eye. Submitting my consciousness with the focus of my mind. I've got to take myself back to the beginning of eternally breaking free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest your head now, little girl. You around, make you frown and cry. You 